Surrey slumped to 123 for five on weather disrupted day. After sealing the title last week, a dip in the performance levels was understandable from Surrey, but that allowed Lancashire, led by 86 from Stephen Croft and an unbeaten 190 from Keaton Jennings, to put on 414 for five, leading into the second day at Emirates Old Trafford. The partnership was already worth 100 when they got day two started. The pair headed towards 450 early, but they were stopped. Jennings innings came to a cruel end, pinned in front by Overton's full delivery. The Lancashire opener out for 199. It was Hartley who'd take them beyond 450, up to the mark as the edge scooted away for one. He would eventually fall for 16, bowled for another to Dan Moriarty. Bailey joined Balderson and steered them to 500, albeit with a bit of fortune. Luck that was short-lived. Outcaught by Roach as he aimed a big strike down the ground at Moriarty. Lancashire were running out of wickets now, and Balderson was at risk of being stranded. He was on 97 when Williams was outcaught behind off steel. And there would be no ton for the Lancashire number 7, caught by Overton off Moriarty, innings all over on 512. Moriarty had bowled almost twice as many overs than anyone else and finished with 5 for 163, a bit of a punishing innings for Surrey. Jennings exceptional for his 199, Croft and Balderson impressive too. Surrey had faced an over before the break and resumed on one for none, but they'd lose their first two wickets in quick succession when Patel was outcaught by Jennings at second slip off Bailey, and three balls later, Burns followed, bowled by Williams for 18. Jamie Smith would make it three, LBW to Bailey in the next over, the champions elect in unfamiliar territory, but saved by the weather, a bit of respite for the visitors as the rain came down. When they returned to the middle, Amla set about trying to rebuild the ailing innings, and did a good job of it too, settling in after moving the score past 50, before starting to open up and free his arms. Parkinson disappeared over the ropes for six, but for all Amla's eye-catching batting so far, he wouldn't be able to make it a telling contribution, caught by Jennings off Balderson for 29. Surrey were now four down, Curran and Steele held on to tee, the visitors in a bit of trouble at 96 for four. They'd convert that to three figures after a prolonged tee, but the stay in the middle was brief, forced off soon after due to rain. Surrey were in a tough spot, the fifth wicket pair looking for the sanctuary of the close of play in what remained of the day, but they wouldn't get there, Curran bowled by Williams for 11. Steele and Clark successfully navigated the remaining overs, finishing the day a 1-2-3 for five. Their deficit now 389. Finishing the season with a win looks a big ask now for the champions elect. Lancashire are all over them at the halfway stage. Expect a fight back from Surrey, otherwise their title celebrations might prove to be a bit of a damp squib.